Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'll be telling you how to do a Pareto analysis in Excel and how to create a chart for it. Pareto analysis uh, is a technique uh, also known as 80-20 principle which in general means that 80% of your problems are caused by 20% of the issues or 80% of your revenues come from 20% of your products and so on. I have given an example of hair loss over here and uh, it says that these three reasons genetics, cosmetic damage and stress contribute to 83% of the total problem of, of the total uh, people facing this issue. That means 83% people are facing the, the issue of hair loss due to these three reasons. If we are able to cure these three reasons, we would be able to find solution to the problems of 83% of the total population suffering from this problem. All right. See, let, let's let's review this example. Then I will show you how to make it. See, I have given here for reason: genetic, cosmetic damage, stress, stop smoking. Actually, it should be smoking, but I have meaningfully written, uh, knowingly written, stop smoking. That we should actually stop smoking. Vitamin, mineral deficiency, infection. Frequency is actually the number of people who agree that yes, this is the reason why they are losing their hair. So genetics, 56 people agree. Cosmetic damage, 13 people agree. Medication, 2 people agree. Chemotherapy, 1 person agrees. So the total is 98 people were interviewed in this survey and this is the cumulative frequency and percentage actually this also percentage also shows our rate of analysis over here that 83 percent of the problems is actually caused by these three reasons I, I i'll discuss this in detail so this was let's just delete all this and then start it from the beginning so Pareto analysis actually can be made in three or four steps the first step would be to write down the basic reason of whatever we are talking about like we are talking about hair fall so we have written the top the total eight reasons that we have and actually I have sorted them so let me unsort them for you I just click here go to custom sort I sort on based on serial number and smallest to largest all right so this these are the reasons for hair fall and this is the number of people who have complained who have complained that yes they are uh, who have agreed yes this is the reason for the hair fall all right now what we have to do is next uh, in order to find the Pareto analysis or do the Pareto analysis we have to find the cumulative frequency C cumulative frequency would nothing would be nothing but the total of the running total of these cells the first one would be the total of this cell frequency the second one would be the running total of this cell plus this cell sorry is equal to this cell plus this cell is equal to yeah this plus this now here the running total will be this cell plus this cell all right and so on until the end see how the last totals match the cumulative frequency would never be greater than the total of the frequency take column all right now we'll find the percentage of cumulative frequency so how much is 56 out of 98 what percentage is 68 out of 98 and so on very simple when we are trying to find the percentage we divide the number for which we are trying to find the percentage out of by the number out of which we are trying to find the percentage so this is how we do i want to find the percentage of what is the percentage of 68 out of 98 so i will select 68 i will divide it by 98 and i'll get the percentage i can copy it i'll simply press an f4 i will fix the cells over here and now i will copy it this would not exceed 100 percent and I simply do a sort and my Pareto analysis would be complete. It would be based on frequency and 
I go by largest to smallest and here's my Pareto analysis which is already done it so shows here that 83% of your problems were actually caused by these three reasons all right so this is part one now part two how to create a Pareto chart this is very very important now all we do, to do is click insert click on a column type chart let's select this chart and let's move it over here right click select data we would select here for reason and frequency this these two columns comma and we would select the percentage column all right press enter and here's your basic chart ready now what we need to do is we need to actually select the percentage column and once it is selected we need to do a right click and change chart type and we will make it into a line chart click ok I made it for the wrong one my apologies yes right click change chart series type okay and we have a line chart for the secondary axis which is the percentage now since it is so low we have to take it up somewhere here how we are going to do that we are again going to do a right click and 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 let's get it started format data access format data series click on secondary access close now we can clearly see the Pareto chart coming up it's just that now the values are going up to 120% we don't want that so we will select click over here select this do a right click we'll go to format access and maximum value which is showing, showing as 1.2 which is actually equal to 120% we will just keep it one so it becomes 100% and here it is we will just enlarge it let's resize it it's become too large and here is a Pareto chart see all we need to do is go to layout click data labels and actually select here click data labels and above here data labels inside this clearly shows that 83% of, of your problems are caused by these three reasons or 90% problems are caused by these four reasons all right so this is how we make a Pareto analysis chart I hope you like this video so until the next video this is your guru signing off you can actually download this practice file from my elison.org so that you can practice along or keep it just for keeping sick <laughs> so so this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning